Hello guys. Um, anyway, on my previous video, I was talking about a little bit about my Honda CBR 600 R. Just a little bit general information on the stuff that I have, like the Tiger Shot cage and Yeti, all that stuff. But anyway, um, I was also talking about this is going to be my last video about my Honda CBR because uh, I'm actually selling it today, so. Someone's actually going to be here and pick it up, everything. And right now it's early in the morning, so I decide that you know I might just make a quick video and also um, teach you guys how to ride the bike. Or well, for those beginner people out there who want to learn exactly how bikes work and you know how to shift a gear or how to get it started, everything. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward, obviously. Uh, from what you see this is the left side of the bike and on the bottom right here this is the the clutch level well it's not the clutch level it's the clutch switch and by right now it's on neutral like this but when you want to sh shift to first gear you hit it down well it actually bounce back up to the normal right here but when you step down that's the first gear so when you st step on this go down that's the first gear and then it sort of bounce back into a normal and then if you want to switch to a second gear, you got to push it up. Up one time, it'll be second, and then push it up again, it's going to be three. Up again, four, five, and six. Most standard bike is six gear, but if you have the older one, it might be half like a five gear or something. But yeah, this is um, this is 2500 CBR 600. And also, another thing about the bike is that um, this is the clutch, obviously. And then, because I have a... I have an adjustable level so to adjust like the tension how far you want it if you want it close or if you want it further away stuff like that um, before you switch the before you step on the switch in the clutch you always have to um, engage the clutch so you got to hold this while holding it you st while holding it you step on the clutch or well, you step it down for first gear or second gear whichever gear you are so you hold and then switch the clutch, and then you let go slowly. You f it's sort of like a car. If you drive a manual car, you feel when the clutch engage and stuff like that. And this thing doesn't move because this is just the handle. But on this side, this is the gas on the right side, and this is the brake. This brake is for the front. On a motorcycle, the front brake is the strongest. The reason why it has two caliber instead of the one in the back. So so you have basically you have a uh, stronger braking but when you also the thing about bike is that when you brake you gotta brake both of them the front and back brake so for the back brake it's in the back right here this side is in this level and also this is the the gas well not the gasoline but the motor oil when you do oil change um, just to let you guys know um, this is the the brake fluid for the back master cylinder for the brake fluid um, reservoir tank and this is for the front this is the for the front brake reservoir and uh, this is the engine kill switch so if you if your engine is on and you want to kill your engine really fast you hit this one and then it kills the engine but right now it's on, on. and let's see why this is the high beam. We turn on the high beam with the low beam. Um, the thing about Honda is that um, when you have low beam, let me show you really quick what I mean by that. So, oh, another thing about the Honda is that when you switch the handlebar all the way towards the left, like this, you could actually lock it. So you push your key down and turn it towards the left. Right now, this is locked. You can't, you can't move it. So to unlock it, obviously you need a key, push it in, there we go, and then now you can move it. And then turn it to on. So as you see the headlight right now, it's just a standard. But if you want the high beam, it just turn both of them on. That's how Honda works. Okay, and so to kill the engine, you hit this part to kill the engine. But to turn on, you hit that, that's the oil pump just plying by itself. This is the honking right there. And this is the turn signal left or right. 
um, stuff like that. In Muzzancy, you hit the middle, and yeah. This is to start it up right here. Starting it up. But anyway, I want to do this at home, but I'm just going to show you guys really quick how to. Well, anyway, I always told you guys how to start it up already. Right now it's on arm mode. So what you just do is you hit this part to turn it on. But one thing that I want to do is that I want to ride it while the bike is on the stand, like this. But I'll do it anyway just to show you guys, but to let you guys know at home. Do not do it at home or anything like that. Anybody who trying to teach anybody, well, because I really don't have like a camera guy who holding the camera for me, so I'm just gonna place this down and then get on the bike and start it up and try to maybe get onto first and second gear. But I wouldn't recommend you go really fast with like high speed 60 on on your garage, you know everything. So, but I'm just gonna show you guys. So don't do this at home and yeah. Uh, first of all, let's let me start it up. And show you guys. So, like I say, hit this button right here. So it started up. Uh, give it a few minutes to give it a few minutes to warm up. Everything. Are we? Um, every time when you ride a bike or a motorcycle or a vehicle, you you always want your um, engine to warm up because when the engine's cold and you start driving it, it will start moving the engine part, like the piston, and everything. Um, it's really bad because the temperature is not in the right stage yet and the oil too it's not really completely um, heated up so it's not good for the lubrication and then the engine might crack with something because um, you know those pistons is going pretty fast speed especially most I go it's going up to six eight ten thousand rpm so yeah so you don't want to especially you don't want to hit the throttle on it at the beginning just leave it now and warm up everything um, yeah, and then you can see all the air is coming out, so obviously it's warming up right now on the bike. So just let it warm up, uh, give it a few minutes, and I'm just going to place this down right now and show you guys. Uh, for a motorcycle, it's pretty fast to warm up, honestly, compared to a car. I don't know if you guys know this, but... I'm just gonna leave it down like this and I hope you guys can see it. I'm gonna show you really quick the first gear and second gear. I hope you guys can hear this. Oh yeah, I also have my pajama. Another thing, the safety is that uh, when you ride a bike, remember your clothing. You do not want any jeans that lean all the way towards your feet, especially because you might get caught by those chains or stuff like that. But you know, since this is early in the morning and I still have my pajama on, my reindeer stuff. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you guys really quick. I really don't have my safety gear on everything, but I'm just gonna show you guys uh, switching how to get to first gear, second gear, and then just how to ride it. And also when you downshift. Uh, about shifting, another thing. If you if sometimes if you're in the high RPM like seven, eight, nine thousand RPM, you really don't need to hit the clutch. You could just switch the gear by itself because your RPM is so high. Your clutch, your clutch would just automatically engage into it so sometimes you don't even have to hit the clutch at all you could just like shift into it so anyway I'll show you guys Okay, what happened in there was just now. The reason why the engine got um, died off is that another thing about Honda is that uh, this uh, kickstand right here. If you're on the neutral, it's fine to have a kickstand down. 
But if you're on first gear, remember you have to put the kickstand up. Because the Honda has a sensor that if you go on first gear while the kickstand is still down, anything like first gear, second gear, if the kickstand is already down, they will kill the engine. Uh, it's a safety precaution that Honda have, so it's really good. So that's, I kind of forgot about that earlier. But anyway, um, so like I, what I did was, uh, you know, first you have your kickstand up, and then you hit the clutch to first gear, and then obviously you want gas a little bit, but you want to switch it down to a, uh, push it down. I don't know if you see it earlier. Push it down, and then slowly let go, and then while you let go, you're gassing it. And then when you switch to second. But like I said earlier, um, if your RPM is like really high up here, you don't even have to hit the clutch. You, you could just like switch the gear by itself. Uh, I mean, you don't even have to hit the clutch level. You could just like switch the gear by itself. So that's just base of it. Um, yeah. And okay, that's sort of video about it. And also, you always want to downshift to to slow down. You don't. Um, on a bike, when you downshift, it really slows down the bike a lot. So you don't sometimes have, you don't have to use the brake a lot. Sometimes um, you could use it too, but remember to use everything: the clutch, the brake, back and front. And yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys, hope it helped and taught you guys a little bit about how a bike works and everything like that. All right.